Hi guys, another week has passed, or another weekly review. Um, not that much happened last week. Uh, we saw this up move in Adidas. Um, I said last week I was looking for a pullback. I thought the pullback would go to this support level, uh, but it broke, so it came back to another support level around the 146. It seems that price is consolidating right over here, so let's see what will happen next week. Um, this trend line got broken, so I'm, I'm a bit cautious to, to enter this trade, but the price action st sh still shows higher highs and higher lows. So um, this is uh, an interesting one to watch. But keep in mind, I don't know if, if you guys uh, use this, but investing.com is a great website for your information because Adidas has earnings coming out next week. I have alerts set uh, so I know that these earnings will... Uh, when they will uh, will come? Um, oh no 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 March March 8th so no problem we're still in February uh, we can just trade Adidas and uh, but keep uh, keep an eye out on this uh, on this uh, earnings report because of course price will move. Um, let's get back to the charts Volkswagen same pattern also this trend line got broken but you know if we draw in this trend line we can see that. It's quite obvious that it finds some resistance over here again. Um, higher highs, higher lows, so the, the whole pattern is still intact, but we don't have a lot of room to the downside anymore. So, um, looking at the bigger picture, when I pull this one up, maybe we are seeing a little range as well. So, looking at a range trade, this is an, an, a nice level. A nice um, demand zone to re-enter and maybe take profits around here or let one run. I'm looking at this one next week just as Adidas. They are both at a nice place to, to re-enter but I would like to see this one go uh, break break the moving average again. Or I, I need some signs that this one is picking up momentum to the upside. Alibaba, same thing here. Um, well, it's funny to see what happens. I, I pointed out that this level would be a nice re-entry for me. Well, it, it did. Now price moved up here, pulled back and I am re-entering here as well. Um, and let's go to the next move and, and beyond. So uh, this is uh, I, this this is actually a trade I took last week uh, but it uh, needs to get moving to the right side because it's not really that convincing that it's moving up yet but, but we'll see. Also here we had earning reports last week which was actually yes oh, this week week before it was crazy crazy <laughs> this is crazy uh, revenue of course oh this is this, this is uh, not not that big of a revenue it's quite i don't know how investors look at this because this these numbers are pretty far apart but this 1.3 eps that's huge of course looking at the expected forecast so numbers were just in price started to move as you can see and now we are pulling back a little bit which is great for swing traders to re-enter so just keep keep an eye on this one Nvidia I'm already in and I re-entered a little bit I think um, I came in around this area price is really running off this week so I had this this, this is the only one that really took off uh, this week nice trade and of course I'm still looking at this one the Swiss franc, US dollar. I think we're seeing uh, <coughs> this is a spike low. This is a higher low, but I don't really look at the spike to determine a higher or a lower low. This can be a, 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 the first higher low. Of course, we see a higher high in here as well. So, this is there's something happening here of potential reversal. Uh, we see the same on the dollar index. Let me see where it is over here. It only shows on the daily. We can see that price moved down as well. But this is not on the one one day chart. Not really showing uh, any signs of uh, of a reversal. But you know, I think we oh we can see something happening over here on a four hour chart. So let's uh, let's see let's see what happens next week. <coughs> And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow for some new setups and new ideas for the for the coming week. And uh, we'll go in more detail on uh, on the opportunities. Thanks. Bye.